Okay, uh, many of you asked me to do a video about the gear, equipment, and basically everything I use. So, here it is. And before some of you are going to say, oh, you know, you have a window out there. I do have a blackout curtain. I have an open window just for this video, okay? So, I color grade in the pitch dark environment. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is my laptop. It's uh, Microsoft Surface Book 2. Uh, nothing fancy. I kind of use this just to reply emails. And sometimes if I grade on clients and reference images or whatnot, um, this is what I basically use to reply. Don't mind all the cleaning stuff. I'm just, you know, it's Sunday cleaning my things so they're temporarily on the table i don't have anything when i actually work anyways let's move on so here i do have uh beats headphones um terrible quality to be honest if you love music but i use them to answer calls sometimes if i need to besides that they're complete junk so under that, we have uh, my Intuos Pro 5. This is something that I use when I need to do photo retouching. This is not dust. It's um, debris from the cleaning cloths. They kind of paperish. Anyways, so this is what I use. I don't use it that often anymore because I don't do photography too much right now because of the COVID. But definitely a must have if you do for the retouching now if we're gonna go up a little bit this is my asus pro art um, professional monitor this is my reference display it's absolutely fantastic and it's very very expensive this thing is 4500 bucks well after tax is almost 5000 and the reason why i have this because it gives me proper Dolby Vision HDR. So up to 1000 nits, I can completely rely on this thing and I know that the colors and everything is accurate as, as it gets. So if you're serious about color grading, this is definitely a must have. This is a fantastic thing. Anyway, so let's move a little bit. Here I have a Stream Deck. I use something when I record my tutorials for YouTube or not for my videos, this right now is still being uh, assigned. I don't have everything assigned yet, but this is basically my recording deck. So whenever you see tutorial, this is what I use to switch between cameras, uh, between scenes and whatnot. Really cool, uh, not necessary, but really cool and gets my life much, much easier. The next thing is headphones. I use these gaming headphones, Rocat Elo. They're wireless. I have this really cool uh, USB-C uh, wireless little thingy that it's magnetically connects and I can charge them basically freely. I don't have to afraid, be afraid if I pull on them, everything goes down along with the headphones. So this is really cool. Magnetic just snaps and they're pretty nice quality. The only thing you have to be careful with them is out of the box the driver that comes with it gives you really terrible audio quality so keep that in mind okay the next one we have elgato wave 3 microphone this is a microphone i use now i used to use um the soviet octava mk12 but because it's USB-C and basically I just switch everything to USB-C, it makes my life much easier. Just plug in and it's ready to go. The sound quality is very nice as well. Plus it has that nice clip guard. So if I'm going to be shouting and screaming, it's going to protect and not clip my audio. So this is really cool. Uh, behind it, we have Blackmagic Micro Panel. I had this thing for a couple of years. Now I actually have two of them. Again, this is not dust. It's a paper debris from the cleaning napkins. Um, very nice panel. Again, do you need it? No, you can really get away without it, with a mouse. But I use it 50-50, depending on the, on the job that I do. So pretty nice, you know, very responsive, very flexible. The keyboard, however, that I have 
I don't like this keyboard, it's very clicky, it's very loud, so it's definitely gonna be replaced sometime soon because it's a little bit annoying during recording. It makes basically too much noise. Now, the monitor I have in the front is the gaming Samsung. I don't know what model it is, I forgot. It's 144 hertz, and it also covers basically um, P3 space. So as a GUI monitor, it's also very nice and uh, accurate. So that does the job. Now my mouse, I use gaming mouse. It's a AMO, also by Rocat. Very nice mouse. You can program a bunch of buttons. Basically, I can create new nodes and go between with all the programmable buttons. The software that comes with it is really great because you can assign basically crazy combination to it and it's gonna do it very ergonomically awesome. You can turn off the light if you don't want it, but that's what I personally like. So a little reference speakers, nothing fancy, THX, that's a Logitech. They're very nice, uh, only 120 bucks for the whole thing. Obviously they're not studio monitors, but they're very, very accurate compared to studio monitors and they're pretty, pretty good actually. So here we have my old Samsung monitor. This thing is probably 10 years old. I don't really care too much about this one because I use it strictly for scopes. So it's, you know, there's not much really use for it. Now to my computer, this one is um, Threadripper with GTX 1080 Ti. Unfortunately, I still cannot buy new one. It's all stuck everywhere. Uh, 64 gigs of RAM and this has been my main workhorse basically for all my projects. I do use all NVMe drives. They're very fast for my actual commercial work and for the storage I use regular hard drives. So basically this is my setup. This is how I operate and do most of my feature film and commercial type of work. So if you have any questions, leave the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.